Oh, um, coming to us, the man, the myth, the legend, occupied uh imperial space, of course, the trooper with the with a with a unique number, trooper FN twenty five twenty five. Oh wow, that was a long, long intro. Hey guys, hey, yeah, fuck you. Let's, excuse let's... me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, my okay, my 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 problem has always been this. My problem has always been that usually the people that do know how to play the game only know how to play the game. Like they don't substantially know what they've gotten themselves into, and mm-hmm. that's been my problem with leadership most oftentimes because I've always Everybody been. Knows quote, you never go oh yeah, like, uh, like yeah you know we looked at you know we looked at your submission everything looks great but you're missing this and i'm like you know you just hired a freaking knuckle breather that just freaking walked through the fucking door oh sorry that just walked through the freaking door with with little or no experience and he's now telling me how to do the functions that i know how to do more and now i'm having to actually brief him on the policies and procedures so that he doesn't get written up but yeah i get written up for a lot you know insignificant things but that's your subjective opinion oh yeah that's that's the series nine more to come oh no i would never i would never watch that stuff i mean that's more or less nope. uh it curates to the sports crowd if you will like okay. those dudes that all they do is talk stats all day but when it talks when it comes down to uh current events i can't tell you anything that's going on <laughs> I was just curious, but um, continue, Commander. I was just now. I will go ahead. It, it's it's in that whole sphere of white men can't jump. That all that weird, like spitely niche freaking films that were good, but could be considered like um, tongue in cheek, not outright racist. Because I mean. Mm saying something like white men can't jump back then it was like oh yeah well you know that's just how it is it's they don't know how to basketball you know that kind of thing right. it's like now you say that now it's like now you can outright say whatever you want and get away with it at this point mm-hmm. so. <laughs> no but like 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 he was like huh 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 i was like airy i said airy I, I said i said like that but then i was like like I was like, okay, I, okay. Look, just re, just read what, just d- don't don't read anything else. Just read the read the name. Just read the Filipino name. Mm-hmm. And, and and he and he read. He's like, oh, and he pointed directly at his junk, and I laughed my butt off. <laughs> I, I I went you to know, my I, other I, Filipino I, coworkers. I, I, I said, I said. He 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 gave me the the correct pronunciation. He said Ari. I was like, oh, okay, okay, Ari. I said, I said, hey, hey man. I said Ari, and he's like. Oh, that he just played his junk too. I was, uh, I was having a riot, but the, I was like, "Dude, this is their superhero that they're pushing on the comics, and they named her that." <laughs> well, it, you know, stuff like that is always on purpose. You know, it's you know, especially when the actual like creator is a what's funny also villain girl. So it's what's also you know, funny. A, a lot of this stuff that is intentional. I put the name on Google Translate. I put right. the name on Google Translate. And the translator says "see heroes," and I was like, "Okay, if it meant, if it really meant that, I'm like, how pretentious can you sound to give a person a name like that?" Oh, because they see can much heroes, do whatever they want, they can pretty much do whatever they want at this point. I mean, they own the IP. I think I've said it a few times. It's like, mm. like I said before, you gotta walk away from that stuff. You just you, you gotta let the whole stuff. The chat guys, go ahead and start tossing in your uh, your top villains if you will uh yeah let's talk about it one more time um considering that uh we haven't talked about it in a while it's a good topic to revisit just to kind of get that you know fresh in your mind as to what to look for and what not to look for uh especially for anyone who's really just kind of sitting down and writing their own fanfic or just like trying to construct uh their hero it's very important that you kind of have a literary sense of what the villain is supposed to in theory is supposed to achieve in terms of your hero development so yeah let's go for what's happened with youtube i mean you know a few people have managed to monetize on it and you know they're the bigger tubers but i mean they're literally doing the same thing yeah and you gotta wonder is that the real them now or is that the persona they're putting on i mean that's the question i'm sure most of our listeners right now are even asking us is this really who we are or is this a persona that we throw on just for the sake of our rant. Thank goodness, thank goodness, and thank all for the fact that we didn't get as big as we did because fame kills the creative mind. 
Well, in you know, I'm pretty. Oh, uh, lucky for I, pretty much us, I'll keep us on in, in keep, and off. Keep us on the like, even keel, if, even if we do get that big. Yeah. Oh, I believe in you. Yeah, I still, I still believe. In spite of everything, in spite of it all, I still believe that the best will win out. That's right. And I'm, you guys will be here to, to to call me out on if in case if I do get get to um get too over uh, overly um ambitious the, uh, to the point where I lose sight of what, what it was that I, I set out for when, when I started or mm-hmm. rather well, you can bring me back to where I started and remind well, me of, of, of where I was well let me let me let me put it in a in a different light it, it literally comes down to you almost have to because um, there has to be a, a counterculture to all this. So there has to be, uh, there has to be a, a different voice. And, and it sounds weird to say because then it sounds like manufactured. But in a sense, you know, you almost need a different voice because right now the general consensus, especially in pop culture, is going down this road of inclusiveness, which is really just another guise for, for, um, the type of collectivist mindset that we were talking about earlier, as far as, you know, you have people that are doers and people that. Her. But I will say, yeah. yeah, she counts. Yeah. And I think another thing that really, like I said, with Trooper, that caused him to cringe is that that's really, <laughs> where, that, that's where the corruption of the furry community is really coming in. When you're making an alleg- making it an allegory for, uh, fetishization or sex. Yep. And I lost my train of thought again. Who was going to bring up? Well, you were on trans furry dome and no, yeah, to I'm all, look, to I'm, identify look, 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 look. That, be, that bears my explanation <laughs> on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> remember, we'll remember what I said. Give them some form of backstory, but it's not something we need to delve into. I mean, that's just to kind of give more of a backdrop to you know the film. I get it, but I, I know where these films want to go, and it's 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 been overdone and it's oversaturated. And I mean, it, it's 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 gotten to the point where it's just repetitive. So at, at that point, you just have to just you know turn it off, change the channel, open up a new window, you know. Quick, change the channel. <laughs> what you got to do? I mean, I mean, you know, for mm-hmm. as much as you want to sound like broken records, I mean, if if anyone remembers when this whole Mortal Kombat thing took off in the nineties, I mean, what were they going on about? They were going on about violence and television, and what was the campaign? Change the channel. So, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I'm right there on that too. I'm like, with all these villains, I mean, we know what a villain is. We know what a villain is not. And, you know, for lack, you know, for lack of anything else, I mean, these aren't villains at all. These are characters at this point. You know, they're not even good characters. They're just yes. badly written <laughs> characters. So it mm-hmm. might as well just turn the page and move on. Say his name. Well, well, what I think, well, that's like getting into the minutia of it. You know, I was, I was more or less leaning towards the, yeah, you have, you have Disney but you don't have another big conglomerate spelling up a different view because it's become so monopolized that all, that all big six companies literally are in the same boat spouting the same narrative. So there's no competition. There's no competition. competition. There's no, there's no films like upgrade. You know what I mean? That are, that are, you know, blowing up and, you know, creating opportunities for smaller studios to then, become these larger entities to be able to crank out the type of productions that that are more towards uh an individualist perspective there just isn't everything is too monopolized. that must have been a like sight a to see at that theater <laughs> Joe Go has like a laundry list of what a godzilla can and can't do so mm. i mean you know i want to say just like, they manga, fall just like an anime there are certain things that they more or less hold to in terms of their content and that's why we got the movie that we got. I mean, if not, mm. I mean, if we were just to leave it to these uh, mega corps, I mean, they would pretty much go ahead. Seriously, and I was the, shocked. Uh, I was really shocked that that it turned out the way it did, considering that that 
the one who directed it was the same guy who directed that shitty uh death note uh that death note live action for well, America. Well, I heard well about that's the that thing, dude. Like Toho, like Toho more like what they had to do, and if like you more or less were paying attention to this film from its inception, they literally had to pitch an idea to Toho. Toho literally sat in there with like you know mm. their representatives and they grilled them about it. Mm. And they went over the script and they already had like a laundry list of things that they had to do. Like uh like um I'm not doing this facetiously, guys. I'm a I'm a big Toho nut. So what he's saying, he's speaking my language. But but the whole point was is Toho uh, more or less combed the silver, you know, with a fine tooth comb. You know, Godzilla or yeah, Gojira. Uh, Godzilla can only do this, but he can't do that. Uh, he can't emote, but he can do this. So they kind of, you know, and they, you better you know, listen because we did loot. You know, Ishiro Honda did pass away. Well, and uh, here's the thing. Here's two years the thing. ago, it, so they have to honor that. It blew everybody in terms of expectations, and that's why we're getting a second. <clears throat> we're getting a second film. So, mm. I mean, if I mean, if you were watching these films already, then this is still one of the best films to come out of that. Um, you know, as far as uh, Godzilla, Godzilla, and the previous film, people liked it. People didn't like it. I personally didn't watch it. Um, I was still watching other stuff. Like I have a trove of films, but this is what I've been saying. This is this is my particular situation. You know, you, you know, states are telling you to coop up. So what are you going to do? You're going to find alternatives to get your entertainment. Me, I have films, uh, or you know, I order films. Hey, I want to watch this. Hey, let me go on eBay. Let me order this. Oh, that's perfect. Under ten bucks, sold. Um, in terms of streaming, like. Uh, only thing I really do now, uh, and I've been telling, yeah. I've been telling this on on previous streams before. You know, Pluto TV. It yeah. doesn't cost you anything to watch. But then again, um, when you agree to the terms of service, you're basically saying that because it's Paramount, mind you, it's Paramount, uh, that your viewing habits they will sample in order to go ahead and to focus their programming. And I'm like, cool. Then I'll just constantly watch, you know, the Baywatch channel 24/7. <laughs> that's what i like you know it's like yep. you know i mean baywatch running is a thing you know it's like a you know pam anderson in her prime you know yasmin bleep you know it's like all these you know all these cool hokey storylines i can watch that all day hey you, know, you, gotta, you better hope that the sha hobos don't catch the catch the japanese with this shit uh, well uh the, i don't oh, think yeah. they i don't think they will the the the, the yeah. japanese and no, i mean no, no, the interrupt, no, 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 no. But... look in the private chat okay the Pinterest, no. huh? No, it's oh, good, good grief. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it more octopus? Well, that's why I, I, I bring saw in the a, flag. That, that, I saw the flag, but I just wanted to kind of like finish my point. And I that's I, I was hoping you would finish your point. I, I was, I like, dude, just just keep going. Like, like, I, I just, I'm like, I'm, I'm not gonna be doing the, the countdown anymore. Well, well, my, well, my thing was, it's like, um, you know. Every, you know, prior to prior to my last line of work, you know, like we all, oh, you know, we all start out with like nine to five work. So, I mean, I went from, you know, handling snakes to like uh, having a deal with like the general public, having a deal in hospitality, you know, like all these little rinky dink jobs. So, <laughs> like my my biggest my biggest beef was any time that, you know. I had seen myself as someone, as someone who could provide leadership. You know, I was always given some, you know, half. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to say uh, half ass, but it was almost like a half-handed, out of boy. But you're not what we're looking for. You know, it's one of these things where you just. They, if honestly, if more employers would just be, you know, full disclosure. Hey, you know what? All we want is a yes man. We don't want anyone who's going to be making any waves, who's going to be upsetting the apple cart, who's going to keep status mm -hmm. quo um, because, you know, gosh forbid you raise morale, you know, in your work environment because, you know, happy, you know, happy workers, you know, are more productive, but we don't want that. <laughs> like, that, <laughs> co that costs more money. Like, I mean, like what Mr. Burns says, don't forget you're here forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, and and it, and it is true. It does cost more money because then you can take that success somewhere else. And guess what? You can ask for more. So I was explaining how like 
And you were trying to get them digits. Work. No. How, how the flood. You know, Girl, don't, you ain't got to lie, Eloise. You ain't got to lie. I'm pretty sure you guys had a nice conversation, but you but you need them digits. Right. Uh-huh. From the back end. You guys are being mean to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe we should go with Think of us as, 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 as your I four big brothers. I go on Eloise all the time you know it's it's if you make that if you make that one comment that is not based then you know you're you're opening a can of worms so it's mm-hmm. like so that's one of these things that's... and that's another thing too that we have in the problem right now they're trying to curtail language how long before we oh, start reading yeah. books how long before we start reading books that say the the alphabet community's language, the language of the alphabet. A domino rally in your whole house, your whole living room, that's creativity. That's what I'm saying. Like, like you you I, are a creator in some capacity. I've been following barriers. That's all I've been doing. The yeah, more like the, while watching, you know, horses getting shoot. But and uh, I don't, uh, uh, Melissa... I I I wash my hands of Marvel. I don't care what what they have to do. Ever since they na- they named the um, they named the Filipina uh f- superhero Balsack Heroes. No 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 no. Well, you know what? I you know I was actually gonna bring that up because it's really funny. You know, it's just this whole situation is hilarious, and the fact that Melissa brought it up is inconsequential uh, because I was gonna actually talk about this like really quick. So. You know, we're oh, all yeah, doing our thing, you know and it's, you know, it's, I don't know, I, I was busy doing something else, I just kept yammering back and forth on MeWe or whatever, and then out of nowhere, Leia posts an article, well, actually, no, she posted a video of uh, Trey doing a review on, on Cap Balsack, <laughs> <laughs> and then I looked it up, I looked it up, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's a real thing. And I just I, no, I had to laugh I so hard. Do. I had the to next laugh day, so hard. The next day, because I heard from Twitter that that they that they named well, her ball the sack. But like, the thing is, the I, freaking, I went uh, all the freaking YouTubers I, out of nowhere start cranking out the junk content because you know how like one piece of news yeah, comes yeah. out and everybody's got to make a video on it. It was like yeah, a yeah, freaking but, echo chamber. And I'm like, you know, if you know, if Leia really wanted to, she could just freaking jump on her phone and do a review. She would have like. You know, she would have jumped, you know, she would have ridden that wave. But it's like everybody had to make their own review on it. Oh, Everyone yeah, Schooner, had their yeah. own review. That's, that's, I, I fully understand why you couldn't join a school. You were at work. So that that's cool that you're listening for work. Um, you know, stay healthy. Keep do, doing Schooner, what you're doing. Go to the bathroom. Uh, jump up that. for like 10 minutes. Just tell them you had a hard <laughs> one. <laughs> for, um, like, well, I was going to say freedom is very different from the, from the gay community, owner community. Mafia mindset. It has literally nothing to do with that. But now we're just taking anything that's considered a fringe, uh, a fringe uh, ideology or lifestyle and just tossing it in there. It's like, okay, so now we're saying that, you know, if you don't fit whatever mold it is that you're supposed to fit into, now you fall in with these weirdo degenerates over here in this corner. So, and I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, if we're talking about the alphabet community, I mean, we're talking about, you know, legitimizing or something like that. Or he apologized for something that I'm still trying to figure out what he did wrong. I I can tell you in like a hot minute. I can tell you. Uh, Uh, let, 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 Let Trooper do this one. Uh, right. right around when Mao more or less came into power, uh, the existing uh, government uh, of China, uh, more or less, what was left of it, uh, managed to make its way to Taiwan. Um, now, fast forward to today, we have more or less what we call a one China policy, which is uh, what the Chinese Communist Party considers to be all Asian countries within the... Uh, What's the prefecture book? within the map, if you will, like in the map of East Asia, they want to consider it as one people. Okay, so I mean, yeah, cool, whatever. Uh, but the one China, <laughs> uh, the the one China policy, more or less, it's we're all you know we're all one people, if you will. Which yeah, sounds great on paper, but it's that's not how 
this type of stuff works. So for the longest time, uh, in terms of what our geopolitical stance has been, is to, yes, have dealings with Taiwan, but not recognize them as their own independent country because it tends to infuriate a certain global power that's literally right across the, uh, the you know, South China Sea. So that's what that was about, is Cena managed to <laughs> somehow work Taiwan in there as its own independent nation, and that kind of infuriated the... Uh, called Taiwan a country. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the thing, the thing about that, the thing about that is... Um, that's not what you know nothing nothing wrong against the civilian population in china i mean person on the ground is not going to care either way they're going to you know they're going to go see the film or not but the consensus is okay well we pretty much control the box office you have this uh, actor speaking out of turn we may not want to show your uh you know I, I, well, I hope I, I hope we're spared that. We didn't I really get. Do. I didn't really get into detail as to how the how the alphabet mafia is really trying to take over the um, furry community. Oh well, yeah. Re- oh, you're, you're you're a fringe weirdo. Join us. It's like I'm like you know, furrydom is something completely different than what these sodomites are like wanting to do. Like mm-hmm. you know, it's it's not. It's getting know, to a point where they they even you know some people use it as a scapism. non-binary they're, label they're, on what is essentially you know, what, what little, looks like a female you know they do their little nick wild thing and at the end of the day they put their fursuit back you know back on the shelf and when they're done with it you know but you know these people solely do not identify themselves as individuals they identify themselves by why by whatever sexual act that they do so, they're basically the board mm-hmm. you know I, you know, I wish I could say that that was true, uh, because at least you would have some order within that that chaos. But it's not, you know, it's it. What it tends to be is an amalgamation of all these things that are not necessarily moral. I mean, you know, yeah. it, it, I, you know, not to turn anything inherently political, but I mean, in uh, terms of, but sorry, in terms what, of sorry, what was happening? I mean, I mean, in terms of furry dam, you know, it, 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 it's like a fun pastime. Mm-hmm. And, you know, once you're done with it, you, you know, put it away and you go on with your day, you have your lunch and that's it. You're done with it. But I mean, we're talking mm-hmm. about, you know, a that's group something that you keep under wraps or at least you keep it to yourself. Yeah. And, you and used to keep it to yourself. Now they just want everything. Well, you got the degenerates that just want to be out there with, with their degeneracy. It's really boils oh, down yeah. to them just trying to be yeah. out there with their degeneracy, and most I mean, many yeah, of I us mean, in the furry community don't like to be out there like that. But well, for example, for example, of as a matter of fact, when it's, it's, the whole thing exactly. Basically... Speaking, of, speaking of the erosion of polite society, what was that one guy during Drag Queen Hour who walked into a library with a with a uh, with a dildo? <laughs> Do so you know how? Great. Or through, through the damn data file and all that shit. Uh, I mean, like I would, lunch. but like, I'm lazy right now. I'm too lazy. It's, dude, it's like less than five minutes. I'm <laughs> late. Did you not hear what I just said? I know that. I'm just too lazy to do it. So, but yeah, no, it just it tells you like the echo chamber that everyone's in, and it's like, uh, I'm, for me, for me, this is my thing. Okay, I, I have I have two big gripes. It's like. You know, it, it would be one thing if there was all sorts of different types of content out there, out there but then when you kind of start to see that the alternative content literally has almost a similar model to mainstream content, it just turns you off. And then my other big gripe is, you know, you have these people that they they hear or see something and then they got to regurgitate it. And it doesn't mm-hmm. matter you know, from stream to stream to stream, they regurgitate the same thing, and it's like, move on, or and it's like, move on with life. It's like, yeah, you know, if, go outside. <laughs> like, go outside, you know, it's like, you know, get some sunlight or something, or like, mm-hmm. better yet, cancel your subscription. Cry to, do some push-ups or something. Yeah, so it's like, I just, I, 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 find, I find it funny, because like I saw like four or five different reviews on the same thing, and mind you, I only watched like maybe two. But you know how you know how the algorithm is. If you watch one mm-hmm. video, it throws your, your entire algorithm off. Like right now, my algorithm on YouTube is all about 
you know, um, uh, showing horse. He, uh, he actually. He actually le left a comment on our tokenization um, stream addressing Trooper, and he was he uh he was with us over at uh, Ishi stream yesterday when we talked about Nura. So welcome him, everybody, Unicorn Cast. Welcome, but he's Unicorn asking if Trooper please. has his own channel. Uh, not on YouTube. I try not to put any content on here. I try not to feed the beast. There's already plenty of YouTubers that are pretty much doing the same thing. So, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah, he's just he's just part of our crew. <laughs> if you have more yeah, we again, the pressing news. Yeah, yeah, I post a lot. Well, of the media. thing is, the thing is, you stick with us. You can you, you um you'll find no shortage of trooper when he talks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's that's very true. Um, no, I mean I would just be literally. And it's not no if and when I let be, him talk either. He, well, I would end up being a counter voice to all the vitriol right now because it's all it's all the same thing, and it's something that Lay and I were talking about yesterday where. Um, everyone is n sort of like shilling for a certain film right now, and the film is not. Yep. So basically, what our views on are on it, and like it's pretty, it, it's pretty straightforward, you know. Under mm -hmm. you know, you know, objectivity is pretty much keeping perspective. Objectivity, um, yeah, and there's a subtle push of pushing out objectivity because yeah. suddenly everything is suddenly subjective. Yeah, everything is suddenly subjective when you start um, putting yourself into the situation. Or it's no longer about what the masses say; it's about what you say and how the masses need to conform to you. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. so I'm all fine with if this if it just didn't mean oh no 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 your subjective view doesn't matter. It's this person's subjective view that matters because they have. All the degrees and all the. I kind of just stuff. wish they stopped changing the fucking rules every fucking two weeks. Well, no, that's how it works, dude. That's, oh, that's how it works at, at this any point, employment yeah. agency. That's how it works at any employment agency. Like they got, they have to literally change the policy to pretty much get a point across. Like that's even if you are, even command. if you're in the right, even if you're in the right, they have to bend at least some form of policy or procedure so that they can pretty much put you in the hot seat. So, <laughs> I mean, I, I learned to stay out of the hot seat because my opinion always used to get me in trouble. My, my opinion always was like, you know, I have. Oh, to I go, learned that here and well, there, definitely. Well, in order to pretty much be able to perform the duties of my work, like I need to know the policies and procedures. But when it really comes down to brass tacks, I mean, I I think I think there's more to it as well. Like. I think this is where they kind of want to go in terms of pop culture, and there's no real pushback in terms mm -hmm. of you're not seeing um, you're not seeing anything that's well funded production wise uh, coming out and being uh, a counter to that. Like there aren't. Well, the, I think, there, I think there are, but they just either they ignore it or they are so very quick to take it down. I mean, um, The Mandalorian is the counter to what Kathleen Kennedy's direction was. The only difference is with The Mandalorian is that it found a way to check all of the boxes and deliver that story that everybody... Hang on, it's going there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dread 2012, Dev, you wouldn't be Daisy Cous Cousins, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone. I hope you're all well. Everyone I'm just has saying. had this bug up their butt about only saying certain things on YouTube streams. And this has been going on for a while. And, and you and I have had these conversations that certain I'm not gonna say certain people, but certain content just seems to be taboo to talk about. Which mm -hmm. that's that's all fine and dandy. But at one point you have to acknowledge the fact that if you know, with all this going on in the West and in the first world about this type of content, you know, making its rounds. And it's not just here. It's it's everywhere. You know, when we start talking about intellectual properties, it's everywhere. It's global. Because, I mean, it's it's first world entertainment. You know, then let, we'll take the United States for an example. We seem to be like the, the nest of this stuff right now. Um, mm -hmm. 
if you know if 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 state leaders county leaders if you know at the federal level leaders at any level if they were truly concerned about this you know someone would have already stepped in you know and started getting involved the fact that this is now starting to kick up even more speed tells you where we are as as mm -hmm. you know and just as individuals not even as americans or british or you know um, whatever first world nationality it's this is where we're headed and this is where we're going um it's going to be a rough ride and you better be strapped in that's that's almost mm -hmm. i can say without you know turning this into you know a into a you know uh what's the word i want to use uh conspiracy theory yeah we'll go with that the conspiracy mm -hmm. theory. so but yeah i mean come on i mean look at what's you know look at what they're talking about now like suddenly now again we're talking about you know anime and manga it's it's only going to be a matter of time i mean funimation's already you know over there they're already you know mm -hmm. starting out their two cents it's, it's only going to be a matter of time before you know um your favorite intellectual property has to quote diversify or lose out on, on money. So, mm -hmm. but in, in that's why and I've been part saying, of me still has hope though. Well, well, here's the thing. We're going to have to go through all that before we get the pendulum to swing the other way.